Hello, welcome to another second hand uh, charity shop bits I've acquired of the month. We are now at the end of March. I have got a pages worth of stuff, not a double page this month. Um, I've been quite sensible actually. <laughs> um, just haven't felt the need to go out and buy lots because I don't need lots. Um, and haven't got rid of quite a lot of uh, clothing and all that recently. Um, and kind of realising my new uh, size and stuff. It's taken a bit of realisation so I haven't been very gung-ho to buy clothes. And if you can't tell I'm still wearing big baggy and comfortable clothing. So yeah, but I've got a few bits and pieces. Um, where are we? One, two, only four things are from charity shops, the rest is from Vinted. I've been a vintage girly this month. <laughs> we'll start with what's in my hand, just because it's the easiest to show you. I got, oh, I'm going to have to tap the screen, aren't I? A uh, Faber Castell chunky clicky pencil. Um, I've had these in red and green. I gave my son the green one, he lost it. <laughs> I had the red one. It broke after a lot of years of use and I found this one on Vinted for, where are we? I should probably put this on my lap shouldn't I, uh, £2.50 and they are normally like £10 though or at least 6 7 um, they're a bit of a challenge to find. I did go into an art shop in London, um, they only had the skinny ones, I like the chunky ones so I was chuffed to find this, so yeah, so this was a very happy find so my little old artistic self is a happy bunny with that. Uh, welcome to my mound of clothes. Um, we'll just start with what's on top. I'll work my way through the prices in the book. So if you see me earning, it's because I'm trying to find the price. <laughs> we'll look at this one before we even pick it up. Um, this is a TU pink and purple and orange coat. Ready? Are you ready for the size then? A size 16. <laughs> I haven't worn a size 16 coat since I was a teenager. Um, I'm going to be 35. But my coat is just too big. That oh, I, also, I also got off printed last year. It's now way too big in the body. The armholes are falling down. It's just not. But this is spectacular. I admired this on someone on Instagram underneath the dopamine dressing um, hashtag. And I was like, I love that coat. I went to find it. It had been put on sale by Sainsbury's and it's sold out. And I have not found it. I have checked. I've searched Vinted. I have not found it. Suddenly it popped up in my recommended. And yeah, it was like 15, 16 pound. And then yeah, the postage made it 20 something. So yeah, so, but it's so nice. It fits beautifully. It fits really nice. It's right on the shoulders. I go in at the waist. It, it, it's perfect so yeah so although as you can see by the brightness it's a beautiful sunny day I'm filming this um on the 20 not 29th is it 30th today? yeah day before Easter Sunday basically yeah so this can go out the last day of the month I'm just pre-filming it <laughs> it's a beautifully sunny day today so yeah but this is good for chilly days because it has been very wet this week and it did its job beautifully and I am off to Paris in a week and a bit when this is being bought because it's meant to rain the whole four days we're in Paris so <laughs> we have that kind of luck um how much is this one? Oh, it's at the top isn't it? this was an absolute bargain <laughs> Again, um, I got rid of a lot of jackets. I have been able to keep one of my denim jackets. I had like six different denim jackets. I was able to keep one. And now I fit into one of my son's ones as well. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't have many denim jackets left. And they're all customised. I had a labyrinth themed one. I had a Beauty and the Beast one. I've been able to keep my Japanese one, but yeah, no. Um, my customised denim jackets had to go, which sucks, but it is life. Um, you're a bigger size and you buy oversized 
when you go shrink down thanks to you know the fight or flight diet <laughs> you know it's nothing like a good dose of constant panic in your body to make it just stressed you know going up and down the stairs has my heart rate going nuts it's it's the worst i mean you know look i'm bright red from just picking out a few clothes from my room and also i am getting over the most horrendous virus if you watch my weekly vlogs bits you would have seen my last weekly vlog i was quite a mess <laughs> so you know it's um it's been a time <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> you can tell by the husky disc of my voice i'm just getting over it so yeah, recovery we're, we're still in rest mode we're getting there but yeah back to the jacket <laughs> this acid wash pockets furry lined padded in the sleeves jacket was five pounds <laughs> and also it is a Florence and Fred jacket in a size 16 to 18 with the fluff <laughs> fits beautifully um I can button it up button it up all the way to my hips but yeah this is due to be customized my mum have got me my mum's got me some cool pins i've got patches to go on it it's super comfy and yeah it's a good spring jacket so it's got a layer of fluff in it to keep you warm while it's still a bit nippy but you know um looking forward to me and my mum made plans we're gonna start doing walks obviously we're both getting over this bug but yeah we're gonna start doing walks and that will be a lovely bit of a warm jacket but you know once you get going you can unbutton it and good for a uh uk spring because they're very variable it can be beautiful outside bright sunshine and a bit of a nip in the air where you're a bit oh need, need a layer <laughs> see ya oh there we go let's wiggle this a bit also please excuse my hair that is being done tomorrow we're just dealing with it <laughs> um let's go into some of the bits i picked up in shops and not vinted my whole four things i've got in shops um, I went in and again clothing, our uh, second hand clothing shop, it's amazing, they have a Facebook, they're on, where else are they, uh, TikTok, um, so yeah no, I will share them below actually, in case you are ever in my North Hertfordshire for like popping into my town. I got this striped little vest from Primark it's an extra large but I will wear it like a sweater vest it reminds me of Scooby-Doo because the colours so yeah so that layered over t-shirts or as a layer under um, dungarees or something I thought would be cool um, and then I picked up this sorry these things have literally been picked out of the washing pile I have not put them away yet <laughs> washed but not put away I washed stuff and then I got poorly so the washing pile is desperately uh <coughs> teetering uh this is a lovely linen shirt from primark in the most wonderful blue it's really hard to catch on camera but it's the most wonderful bright like petrol blue it's it's so nice and this my friends and it fits me is a size 14 <laughs> it's just so weird to me these are clothes sizes i buy my sister's clothes and not me so yeah so but it's a lovely linen shirt will be amazing for summer um i have a similar one in orange that i bought last year year before year before i think but yeah um i can't remember if i kept it or not when we went for all the stuff i think i did because it's a lovely like creamsicle orange it's it's really nice um and then these two i got from the salvation army uh they are both river island this is a size 16 River Island. It is a white shirt with the most amazing theatrical, they tie up at the wrist, poet sleeves. They're slightly different fabric from like this bit's t shirt and then this is like a shirt. Well, you turn it around and it has decorative button, it, button up look on the back. And yet, yeah, it is so pretty. Fits really nice. Oh, these sleeves. I imagine this, yeah, under like a black slip dress and just these really over the top sleeves um and like trainers 
really casual but smart and a bit of a mix up <laughs> and this actually my mum spotted and she held it up she went this will look amazing on you and it does um this is river island this is a uh, 18 um and it's this chambray leather shirt it has elasticated bit of the waist with a little frilly bit of peplum and then it has pin tucks and elastication on the thing with little ruffled sleeves it has embroidery buttons it has a v-neck at the front and the back you know it's beautiful and this was six pound and yes it's lovely so this will be such a nice summer shirt so yeah so now i gave price for that didn't i yeah i did if i didn't the white one was four pound the denim one was six pound and the two things from and again were two pound each so yeah just in case i didn't say prices <coughs> two seconds <coughs> big cup it is always necessary uh we are on to the last couple of bits from vintage i got these amazing uniqlo flowy trousers in the most amazing I know you're thinking, oh, that's a skirt. Really, really, a la Rachel Maxi. Secret pants. They are really wide-legged. They have a lining that goes down just past my knee. And these are a Uniqlo Extra Large. And they are the most beautiful, minty, sagey green. And oh, they're just wonderful. I love this kind of thing. Because, yeah, it's so smart but pretty and comfortable. So, yeah, these were £9 from Vinted. Bargain. This dress was even more of a bargain. Um, this is a size 16. And this was £3. My For You page on Vinted has been really good right now. <laughs> what drew me in on this? I have to hold it up close. Is look at the fabric. It's the most beautiful building. I know it needs an iron, but look, buildings and it's long sleeved. The cuffs actually do up for me, and yet it flares slightly at the bottom, and it hits sort of just above my knee, and it's got a little sort of yeah placket at the front. And it's beautiful and it's so nice but yeah it's so unusual and i have been fabric shopping in all kinds of fun places i've never seen a fabric like that and i was like even if it didn't fit i was going to use the fabric but the fact it fits is even better so yeah so i am beyond chuffed with that i am actually going to wear that to paris i think that's gonna be one of my paris day outfits um last two things these things arrived today on me fizzy drinks um which is why i was waiting to film this till i had the last two things um i got this lazy o shirt in a medium to large gotta wash it because whoever had it before me um very strong washing powder <laughs> it's anything sometimes um i always wash my vintage things just because personal preference of washing powder and fabric softeners you know i don't do strong ones this is a strong one so yeah so but this was £10. The seller was really good actually. They said it the same day. It has this lovely little embroidery. And then it goes red, purple, blue, yellow, green. Which I thought was unusual for rainbow. It was a bit more different. And as I am about to dye my hair rainbow. This would be a fun shirt. So I treated myself. And I, the only Lazy Oaf things I own are actually my Lazy Oaf and kickers glittery kickers i own which i have lovingly patched and fixed up <laughs> over the years um they're rather elderly bless them but yeah i have never owned lazy oaf clothing i've wanted to but it's always quite expensive and i've been in their shop it was very fun to look at the stuff but again quite expensive so don't bow for a t-shirt i will happily pay for um my last buy of the month oh no it's not second to last i've just remembered one thing that I have got to get out of my bag. <laughs> Second to last buy um, are these amazing Doc Martins. You know, Doc Martin bottoms, 
these were £15 because they did not have the Doc Martin insoles. I have a bag in my cupboard full of insoles. All kinds of stuff. And I have Doc Martens and you do not wear Doc Martens. You know, every pair of Doc Martens at the same time. I can slip a pair of insoles out and replace them. So it's not the end of the world. But they're the most wonderful. They look like they're beaded. But they're not. It's like a woven fabric. And they're amazing. And I've tried them on. They're so comfortable. And you know, so they're sort of suede woven shoes but yeah and the Doc Martens which I thought was awesome because yeah the little tag is embroidered in black so they don't scream Doc Martens do they and I thought they're colourful interesting and comfortable and yeah I've got these in a size 8 and these were £15 awesome for Doc Martens um, and just let me pause you one second and get the last thing final item which was how much for you £7 from Vinted is my third time lucky trying to get hold of this bag and I finally got it it is a big Disney Halloween tote bag bits are embroidered the happy Halloween is embroidered it's a zip top it has a zip inside it and yeah it's so good I've wanted one for ages literally since they had them at Disney store and I didn't manage to get one but yeah, £7. I've tried twice on Vinted. One, um, the seller never sent it. One, um, it got sent and got lost. And then the seller just disappeared. So I think they just never sent it. <laughs> or I don't know. But either way, I got a refund. So third time lucky was trying to buy this bag off Vinted second hand finally got it so yeah so i'm a very happy bunny because it will be useful going away um because we are taking our suitcase i've got a little wheelie trolley suitcase style thing and a bag and we've done um on our last day in paris we've done luggage storage so you can do and i've done three items and it can be anything any size so we can do the big suitcase the little suitcase and a bag so if we've got excess stuff we can't fit in either or we just you know need an extra bag of stuff you know we have that option for the luggage storage and it was a whole I think three pound extra to check an extra bag on so we did because yeah um because kick out time of our Airbnb is 11 at the latest and our train is not till seven o'clock at night so we have quite a long gap so we're going we are using it as a full day in Paris so yeah go down early put the bags in have a nice day but that is what this is. We will be used for, is for holding stuff in Disney, as because we don't do a day in Disneyland Paris, as well as you know storage. But that is my second hand haul for March. I have not bought as much as t previous two months, purely because ugh, trying to figure out when you're getting rid of loads of stuff, you don't necessarily want to be bringing loads in, and trying to figure out clothing sizes and trying stuff on is a big deal in my head i struggle with trying stuff on um which doesn't make sense but nothing makes sense and you know and then being unwell i have not been able to actually physically get out and about and i've been saving a lot of this month because going away wanted to save up so we have money spending money for when we go away and because we're staying in Airbnb, we need you know food money and our travel money. And obviously, Eurostar's already paid for, but we need like the um, uh, metro tickets and yeah. So, been busy saving. So mentally, been the do I need it? Could that five pound be you know a whole load of bag snacks in Paris kind of mentality? So we instead have got some nice Paris spending money, and we are hoping to um, hit up. Uh, a chunk of the vintage shops and second-hand places um, especially around Bon Mart we've got quite a few saved on my um, Google Maps because that is an area we have not visited yet so there look to be some really good places with lots of rails and bins and yeah um, places where I can cope with basically because some of the ones down in the Marais were really good they were very busy and quite crowded and overwhelming for someone with sensory issues so yeah so i found some slightly hopefully quieter places or at least if not somewhere he can stand quietly while i have a good search and go what do you think what do you think what do you think you know <laughs> 
so yeah so next month is going to be amazing because you'll have paris secondhand stuff that might even be its own video to be honest because although i only got a handful of bits last time they were fun they're my favorite things actually you know so yeah um i'm hoping to get some nice goodies we're hoping to as well to hit up a flea market because yeah i've just ordered some euros to pick up on tuesday um probably could could have picked them up before and but bank holidays are a nightmare so yeah so we go pick up euros on tuesday and yeah we get to out go exploring <laughs> which will be so much fun um but yeah no so i'm really pleased that some of the bits i picked up will be going away with me and yeah um it's been a very nice thing and i will say i love my new coats they've been quite nice to have a new coat and yeah you know, my mum bought me some silly pin badges for my denim coat i've got move some bits onto my pink one um which i can't wait to wear to disney because you know it's very alice in wonderland and i've just recently I'd recently dyed my son's very hair various shades of pink and purple at his request so his hair matches my coat and i'm going to do a little bit of my hair here orange roots and then pink purple pink purple pub so yes yeah, so do like little tartany check bit in my own hair the rest is going to be rainbows so yeah, all ver various kinds of rainbows so yeah so i'm really looking forward to wearing it with new hair bright eyebrows because they're a bit brown <laughs> and yeah it's going to be a good month coming up but yeah these last two days um well by the time you watch this last day um is healing um being restful taking it easy um yeah and i have bought lots of other bit little bits from small businesses online i did a couple sewing patterns of etsy which i think were in one of my vlogs um and yeah so I've, and I bought some sewing patterns from the big companies, but they were they were half price. But again, they're on vlogs. I think I put them in. So yeah, but this is all my secondhand stuff. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give me a like. Uh, and if you are not already, if you are already, thank you so much. And if you are not and would like to be, please subscribe. And let's think of a nice question. What has been your favourite secondhand thing? or thing you've spotted in the month of March or what sort of you know the funniest thing you like that's great but I won't buy you um there's a lot of that when you go looking <laughs> but yeah my favorite has got to be my coat because I've been admiring it since last year and I now finally own it so that is a nicey for me that you know even with searching and that oh, I finally got a nice coat which I love <clears throat> And before my voice goes anymore, I think I will leave it here. So no, thank you so much for watching. Again, please like and subscribe and drop us a comment. And I'll catch up with you beautiful folks next time. Bye.